Well, field trips are a great part of the school year. Tonight we take it to World of Energy field trip at Duke Energy as we kick off back to school weather week. Staying cool in the summer, warm in the winter, and all the times in between, from cooking your favorite meal to enjoying a hot shower, all require energy. Almost 50% of the electricity we use in South Carolina is produced by nuclear energy, and Duke Energy's Oconee Nuclear Station is up to the task. Oconee Nuclear Station is a three-unit nuclear power plant, so what you see behind us is the containment structures. Uh, we're basically uh, making steam. Steam turns a turbine that spins a generator which makes electricity. How does the steam form? That's where nuclear power helps us. Uranium-235 brings on the heat. Uranium-235 atoms, incredibly tiny, incredibly powerful. We split those atoms. When we split the atoms, we generate heat. We use that heat to make steam just like boiling water in a tea kettle. All that steam has to be cooled to start the process over again, so chilly deep water from Lake Kiwi is pumped through separate tubes to help condense the steam back to water. Duke Energy operates six nuclear power stations across the Carolinas. Now this power station here in Oconee County produces enough energy to supply almost 2 million homes with electricity 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And teachers can book field trips for their students at the World of Energy to learn more about it. When school is in session, we always have field trips. We can take large groups up to about 125 kids. And once you're here, there's a lot to learn and see inside and out, even including a butterfly garden. We have different um, exhibits throughout the facility that talks about the story of Duke Energy, um, how electricity um, has been produced over the last hundred years, starting from water, uh, going to nuclear, and the future of renewable energy. Nuclear energy is clean and extremely efficient. Duke Energy makes sure it stays safe as well. We maintain and invest in it just like just like you would your home. So we're constantly doing preventive maintenance, implementing new technology, putting new installations in to make sure it's running as efficiently, reliably, and safely as it can. With many different fuels available to make electricity, nuclear seems to be one we can count on, and teachers can get their own reaction from their classes that visit. 